Who is Stony Mason, and what has he done for the town of Starksboro? Norma Wedge, who grew up and currently lives in Starksboro, has known Stony her whole life. When speaking with Norma, we learned that they went to school together at Robinson Elementary and were best friends. She described Stoney as everybody's friend and said that he is a very kind, very good guy. When we asked her what she thought his greatest contribution to Starksboro was, she replied that he is very passionate with everything he does and his passion can be seen in the stone walls he builds. Mary O'Brien, a teacher at Robinson Elementary, who lives down the road from Stoney, told us that he is a great storyteller with a wonderful sense of humor. Mary talked about the lovely walls that Stoney built for the town, including the wall in front of the elementary school. Mary Hines, who used to be the principal at Robinson, told us how she used to go and sit with Stoney in front of his house when the weather was nice. From her office, she could watch him build walls and wave to passing pedestrians and travelers. She said he was an inspiration to anyone he waved to. When we talked to Stoney, we were put at ease by his lighthearted humor and interesting stories. He talked about his friends and family, including his grandchildren, Becky and Charlie. When we started talking about the walls that he has built, he explained that he just started one day by building a wall of his own and learned as he went. When neighbors and people passing through saw his work, they would ask for a wall of their own and he would build them one. Every wall that he makes is different and made special to the customer's desires. It's obvious he is extremely proud of his work. When asked if he had built a certain wall in the town, he responded, No. It's a wall, but it isn't good. Not like mine. <laughs>